Good morning, St. Thomas More. Today you'll see the rainbow flag flying from our flagpole. With the leadership of our trustees, the HWCDSB has affirmed the place for the rainbow flag here at St. Thomas More and in all our schools for June Pride Month. The flag says that we at HWCDSB are here to publicly declare inclusion of all and to be intentional in our inclusion and to be explicit in our support of one another as we affirm that each belongs. Pride is a positive stance against discrimination and violence towards lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, and gender fluid people. Pride is also a chance to promote self-affirmation, dignity, equality, and fundamental human rights. The rainbow flag is a tangible symbol that represents all these values. STM, may this flag be a symbol of hope, a blanket of protection for those who need it, a cape of power for those who must be empowered. I offer a special prayer intention today for all STM students who find personal hope in this flag today. May you know deep in your bones that you are good, you are beautiful, you are beloved, you are sacred, you are worthy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Creator God, you made us the same, creating peoples as diverse as your rainbow. In the person and life of Jesus, you came to us and did not discriminate. You came for the hungry, the thirsty, the imprisoned. You came for the sick, the needy, those rejected by society. You came for the poor, the rich, the marginalized. Give us the strength to follow your example. Help us to leave our safe places in pursuit of justice and a more colorful world. Give us the compassion to help and to hold others, regardless of their names, faces, gender identity, or sexuality. May we be instruments every day of your love, your peace. Amen. St. Thomas More, pray, pray for, for us. us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hello again, just a quick reminder to students, something I didn't expect to have to remind you, but water guns and water play are not welcome on school property. These things are gonna be confiscated and school consequences are gonna be, um, they're gonna be dished out. And that's your warning, okay? Um, because yesterday, you may not know that this happened because you're all thinking that you're just having harmless fun. A student slipped, fell, injured her neck, and we're doing an accident report and looking at whether we need to get medical attention for a student who slipped in a hallway. Our hallway is not meant for water sports. It's a place of business. It's a school. It's a place of learning. And if you want to make it into that kind of a clown show, that kind of a nonsense, it's just not becoming of St. Thomas More. It's not safe. And therefore, this is your warning. Leave that stuff at home. If you had fun yesterday, you're lucky you got away with it but you're not gonna get away with it going forward. I'm asking you to be mature and think about others. Have a great day, STM. Thank you to all students who have applied to become a prefect. Those who did not get a chance to have their interview yesterday, please report to room 252 during period three today for your interview. If you need a dismissal slip, or if you have any questions, please see Ms. D. Giovanni in student success today. Members of our senior girls volleyball team continue to make us proud on the court. A big congratulations goes out to Alyssa Lolly, Raquel Lolly, Hope Simpson, and Claire Carter, who all medaled in their respective divisions at Nationals in Edmonton last week, with Claire Carter being named to the tournament all-star team. Thanks, STM.